What's going on everyone? If you guys trade any stocks that is correlated with the NASDAQ 100, which is obviously mega cap and tech stock companies. So predominantly 98.999% of the time I'm going to be trading things like AMD, Nvidia, Apple, Microsoft, Tesla, all correlated and going to move with the triple Q's index. It's uh, the index actually that I follow more so than the SPY. Even though the SPY is a lot bigger, it's 500 companies from multiple sectors. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's going to move hand in hand with the triple Q's or vice versa. Triple Q's are going to move hand in hand with the SPY. But I like to just kind of focus, engage and use the triple Q's as my baseline for the stocks that I like to trade. Um, what we're looking at here on the NASDAQ 100 is a flat overall day. Um, we did have a healthy back test of the rising five day moving average, which is currently sitting at $275. So we did get to tag that today and we're trapped below the 20 day moving average. So if you guys followed my video from the SPY, when I kind of gave out some levels that I'll be looking to trade this week, this is kind of the same context. With that being uh, said, we're looking at the 20 day moving average here sitting at a price of around $284.50 and we have our rising support here at around 275. So we have a nine to 10 point range, just like the SPY. I would expect this range to continue to contract the rest of the week. So if you start to lose your feet Thursday, Friday going into next week and you feel like you really can't get uh, you know, a good grasp of the trend. This could be why, because as we go into a level of uh, consolidation and distribution, ranges will contract. Stocks, uh, you know, their average uh, daily range tends to get a little bit smaller. So I definitely say to size down for the remaining of the week until we can kind of pick a side. If you can kind of see yesterday's high uh, and the wick that we put in from today and the body close here, it's pretty much flat. Now, if we do get any sort of pullback, doesn't necessarily mean that we're going all the way back down. We do have support sitting at around $277 and obviously our firm support at 275. There is no real short position for me on the NASDAQ 100 stocks until the triple Q's loses the five day moving average. And what I mean by loses the five day moving average is let's say for example, tomorrow, which is gonna be October the 6th, we have a daily candle close below the five day moving average. Then on October the 2nd, or excuse me, October the 7th, I will be looking to short stocks that confirm that range to the bottom. Now, as of right now, if you're currently holding stocks to the long side, just be very, very careful. Depending on when you got into those particular trades, you might want to think about closing, you know, 40, 30, 50% of that position, locking in any of those gains, and then kind of riding out these runners. Definitely use either break even as your stop or that rising five day moving average. If we do go sideways for one, two more days in between, you know, this $283 price point and around a $279 price point, nothing changes. Everything still looks okay. Just uh, understand that you don't really want to be going long right here at the top because you might have to sit through one, two days worth of drawdown. Now, for a shorter term uh, time trader, uh, someone who's, uh, you know, trading either the two minute, the five minute, the one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minute candlesticks, you can try to take a short position closer to this 20 day moving average and then ride that back down into consolidation and then use that 20 period moving average, which is a 20 SMA as your break even stop loss. So if we close above it, you want to just get out of the trade. As long as we stay underneath it, you want to hold that short term day trade to the downside until we break above. Now, when we break the 20 day moving Moving average or we lose the five day moving average I'm going to say this is when we're gonna get a nice either run up or run down where we're gonna get a lot more follow-through and a lot more clarity on where the overall market wants to go this can trade sideways for two to three more days and then kind of roll over and then we're looking at new lows through 267 or we can kind of consolidate for a few more days break that 20 day moving average and then we've got a clear shot back up to around three hundred dollars on uh, the triple Q's which would be and present a fantastic opportunity Opportunity to go to the long side. I hope this video helps. By the way, guys, my name again is D Anthony with evolutiontraders.com. You can find all of my information at evolutiontraders.com or you can go down to the description box below this YouTube video. Again, my name is D Anthony. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.